put cloves under the bed. Start using them not only in the kitchen. This spice has more uses than you think. However, few people take advantage of them. Have you ever used cloves on the windowsill? Or by the door? Have you ever tried keeping them under the bed? This application of cloves will solve many problems in the house. And you'll regret not knowing about it earlier. Just one tablespoon of cloves is enough. Grind them in a grinder or blender. This will extract a more intense fragrance from them. Transfer the ground cloves to a bowl. Sprinkle a pinch of cloves on the windowsill. By the wall. Also, sprinkle them in front of the front door or the entrance from the terrace. Instead of sprinkling cloves, you can place a bowl with them in these places. Leave them on the windowsill, by the front door, or under the bed. You can mix ground cloves with warm water. After some time, strain them through gauze into a spray bottle. You can spray such water in places where insects and bugs appear. Cloves repel ants, wasps, silverfish, bedbugs, and even spiders. You can also get rid of cats from the garden. Just spray the ground with water with cloves. You can also spray your skin to repel mosquitoes. As you can see, cloves will come in handy wherever you don't want pests and insects. When I discovered this method, there are no more flies, ants, or cockroaches in my house. I got rid of them effectively and without harmful chemicals. Pour 300 milliliters of water into a frying pan. Prepare two tablespoons of cloves. They must be whole. Their use in repelling pests is brilliant. Throw them into the water and heat the whole thing. A decoction should be formed. When the water changes color and a pleasant scent begins to pervade the house, we move on to the next step. Sprinkle baking soda onto the pan. Two tablespoons are enough. It will react with the decoction and start fizzing. Add small amounts so that the substance does not overflow from the pan. Stir until it disappears. Let us know in the comments from which location you are watching us. I'm sure this one mixture will help you get rid of pests from your home once and for all. Pour it into a spray bottle. I used a funnel for this. Put a few bay leaves into the bottle. Their intense smell repels pests. Just insert them into the previously prepared mixture to enhance its effectiveness. Such a spray can last up to two months. Since I've been living in the countryside, I always have it on hand. I was fed up with pests that had infested my house. It turned out that just by spraying this spray on the front door, kitchen cabinets and windowsills insects avoid the house like the plague. I haven't seen a single ant or fly in the kitchen for several months. This natural recipe is safe for pets and children. Dip a twig in it and spray the bathroom. The silverfish will disappear as if by magic wand after just one night. It's a home remedy for small bugs that appear out of nowhere in the bathroom. These insects don't have wings. You can most often find them in the bathroom, especially at night. They feed on scraps left in bathrooms. It's moist enough there for them to live and reproduce. Silverfish aren't harmful, they don't bite, and they don't carry any diseases. However, they're not welcome and disgust many people, but you don't have to buy expensive and toxic silverfish killers. Just make a homomadi spray to get rid of. These bugs from the bathroom once and for all. The corners and nooks sprayed with it will be an impassable barrier. Such a spray will repel them. They won't show up in the bathroom anymore. Pour vinegar into a pot and heat it. Most insects can't stand the smell of vinegar. They avoid it like the plague. Put a sprig of rosemary in the vinegar. The scent of rosemary repels insects. It also works on silverfish. Add a few drops of lavender oil to the mixture. Such a remedy won't kill the silverfish, but it will effectively repel them. It's completely safe. You can also use it in the kitchen. Its scent will dissipate. So use such a spray every few days. You'll quickly get rid of the silverfish. Mix cloves with mothballs. You won't believe the results. My mom used to do it this way. Her method is very simple. It's a straightforward homemade recipe. Pour 250 milliliters of water into a pot. You'll use ingredients for the mixture that you likely have at home. Among them are cloves. Pour a generous handful of cloves into the water. This spice works perfectly against all kinds of insects. Moths, flies, mosquitoes, bed bugs, and even ticks don't like their smell. Boil the cloves. The water will start to change color to a light brown. 
Turn off the stove and leave the pot covered until it cools down. When it starts to get warm, various bugs start appearing out of nowhere. Cloves effectively deter them. When the water cools slightly, pour in 200 milliliters of vinegar. Vinegar is excellent for disinfecting surfaces where insects appear. It also effectively repels many of them. Flies and ants don't like its smell either. It even works on aphids. Add mothballs to the mixture. They not only repel moths, it's an effective way to deter many other insects, including sugar ants or cockroaches. Not only insects dislike their smell, many animals also avoid places where they smell these balls. If you have alcohol, add 200 milliliters to the mixture. The blend will last longer. Pour it into a bottle with a spout and use it on the terrace, in the house, in the garage, or in the summer house on the plot. You can also use it as a freshener for various places. Pour it into a small bottle and place it where you want to get rid of insects and worms. This trick makes my home smell wonderfully. Everyone who visits me asks about the scent. I don't buy it in the store. I make it myself. I heat a fork over a candle. Then, I take a regular disposable plastic box. I use the fork to make holes in it. There must be a lot of them. The hot fork melts them. That's why it's the fastest way. When the lid is full of holes, I remove it from the box. I pour salt into its interior. Ordinary. The cheapest kitchen salt will be perfect. It can be coarse-grained, it has cleansing and moisture-absorbing properties. Let me know in the comments which city you're watching us from. Then I pour a teaspoon of fabric softener into it. It should have a pleasant floral scent. Mix it all together so the salt is colored by the fabric softener. Prepare a handful of cloves. Insert them around at equal intervals. You can create nice patterns that will be pleasing to the eye. Place such a box in the bathroom or wardrobe. A pleasant fragrance will emanate from it. Everyone will ask what smells so beautiful. Additionally, it absorbs excess moisture. Therefore, it works great for a shoe cabinet. The scent of fabric softener and cloves will be intense, so it will also work perfectly in the bathroom. My apartment smells so beautifully that you can even smell it in the hallway. It's a scent of cleanliness and flowers. No store-bought diffuser is as effective. Want your home to smell exceptionally beautiful too? All you need is one small container. Pour ordinary baking soda into it. Add two tablespoons of these little balls. They are scented laundry pearls. They have an extraordinary aroma. Mix them with the soda in the container. Take some baby oil and pour two tablespoons into the container. Mix everything again. The oil will activate the pearls and release their scent. Now you can add another ingredient. If you have your favorite essential oil, you can add a few drops to your homemade diffuser. But you can also add a few cloves instead, place them on top, or arrange them in a circle as I do. A few pieces are enough. Finally, add the sticks. Now, the whole thing looks beautiful. You can place such a diffuser anywhere you like. You'll feel like you're in a real spa. You'll always have a fragrant home. When the diffuser stops working, just make another one. Its cost is not high, but the effect is amazing.